going to show you how to tune a ukulele. So I have here a concert ukulele and I have um, an electronic tuner. These tuners use um, a three volt battery, little one of those little round button shaped lithium batteries. So the tuner that I have uh, today is a Kala tuner. You have to press and hold to turn it on and you'll know that it's on because the screen will be backlit. So we clip the tuner onto the end or the headstock of the ukulele and the notes that we are aiming for are on the fourth string G, third string is C, second string is E, and first string is A. So it should sound like our little song that goes like this. My dog has fleas. If for some reason, like you have a new ukulele or you haven't tuned it in a while or someone has messed with the tuning pegs, which I'm going to do on purpose now, and you sound like this, which makes you sound very out of tune when you try to play. Pretty bad. So what we do is we start with the G string. So again, your tuning is G, C, E, A. In the treble clef, that is the second line G, middle C underneath the staff, first line E, and second space A. So we start with G and your tuner is movable. So make sure that you adjust the screen so that you can see it comfortably as well. If you do not have the word ukulele in the corner, and again, this is just the Kala tuner that I'm using right now, um, but it does have different settings. So if you don't see the word ukulele, just quickly press your power button. Now I see chromatic, guitar, bass, violin, ukulele. So just make sure that you are on that setting. So then what I do is I play the first string. Now, when I played that first string, it showed up as a G, but that little needle was over to the left. That number four means that it's the fourth string, but that little needle is over to the left, which means that it is flat or it is too low. It's under the pitch. So what I need to do, because the, the G string is wound on the right hand side of our little post here turning to the left or towards the top of the head that's going to tighten it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep playing and tighten it as i go and i'm going to tighten it until i see the screen turn green there now that g is in tune next i'm going to play c now I have the opposite problem with C. When I play C, the tuner shows that with that needle to the right, that it is actually a little bit sharp or too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the tuning peg the opposite way in order to loosen the string and make it play a bit lower. You'll notice that I'm not very far away from the triangle, so I'm not going to make big adjustments, but just minor ones until it turns green. Now you can see the the tuner is sort of wavering in between being sharp and in tune. What that tells me is I just need to loosen it a tiny bit more. And then it'll be solidly in the green section. And it shows you you're playing string number three. For E, looks like I'm flat, so I'm going to tighten it. But now, because the E string is wound on the left side of that little peg, which is opposite of this side of the ukulele, it means that to tighten it, I'm actually going to have to turn the peg down towards the body. So it's the opposite on the other side of the ukulele. There we go. And then we'll do the same for the A string. Sometimes the A is difficult to pick up on the tuner. Be patient and try it again. So the A is showing up quite sharp. So again, opposite, I'm going to turn it away from my body towards the head. 
This is kind of a silly thing, but I found with these tuners, if you give them a squeeze, they pick up the note a bit better. Might just have a loose battery door. And there it is. Oh, still a little bit sharp. So keep going. There we go. So now you should have your ukulele in tune and it should sound like our favorite old song, My Dog Has Fleas. And you can always check on this tuner to make sure that all of those notes are in the green. If they are not in the green or if they are flickering back and forth between green and not, they just need a little bit more adjustment. Every once in a while you will find that somebody has taken a ukulele string and they have cranked it one way or the other so that it's not even the same note showing up on the tuner. If that happens and you get something that sounds like this, or any variation of being very out of tune, sometimes the tuner won't even show up that it is the note that you're looking for. For example, here's the, the fourth string. So that is showing up as an E and actually um, strangely enough, it's a perfectly in tune E, but the problem is that this is supposed to be a G. So we need to think of the musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, getting higher with each note name, with each letter. So E is two notes lower than G. So we're gonna have to turn this fairly um, significantly to get it back to G. So we're gonna go from E through to F. Now it recognizes that we're looking for G, but it's still very flat, so I'm gonna make bigger movements. Keep going. There it is. Now let's see what I did to the C string. I also made it an E. So think of your musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E. E, back up two notes to C. That is actually two whole notes too high, so I'm going to loosen it until I get to an in tune C. Still quite sharp. Oh, that's close. There we go. One final note about tuning your ukulele. You can always use your ears and the My Dog Has Fleas song to help you guide yourself into tuning it correctly. And when you are finished, please make sure that you always turn off the power to your tuner because those batteries get replaced quite often if the ukulele tuners are left on. Good luck.